Hey, hey, what is shaking YouTube today? We're gonna take a look at the Dash by Omega. So this is a yo-yo that has been out for a very long time, probably like six or seven years. And I had somebody in the comments ask me if I could review it. I said, uh, I think I've already reviewed that. And he said, I'm pretty sure you haven't. I went back, I looked, it turns out, never reviewed the thing. So we're like six years late. So well, I'll tell you if the Omega Dash is worth getting in 2019. Let's do it. All right, guys, so here is the yo-yo. Now, to today's standards, a lot of people would say this is quite slim, um, just kind of small in general. But actually, the weight of it, it's 66 grams. So, kind of, they're kind of ahead on the curve. Nowadays, that's like what everybody likes. But yeah, very smooth, out, rounded yo-yo, very comfortable uh, in your pocket. You can do thumb grinds on here. Um, finger spins, not really. There is a matador spike, although it is extremely shallow, not sharp, and you're not going to pull off any type of matador tricks with that really kind of just there um, as the housing for the axle here we got made in china um, it says h10211 right there same thing on this side now this yo-yo is very old i've had this yo-yo for a very long time still has the original pads um original bearing in it and everything the pads are <laughs> a little worn and there's quite a bit of dust on there but, um, you know, really nice. I probably took, the, I don't know if it came with the shields off or if I did that, um, but either way. Now, I remember this yo-yo being decent. It's not like bad or anything. Like, Yomega always made like the shittiest yo-yos ever, but this is actually one of their better ones. I don't know what they're doing nowadays. I haven't checked out, I can't screw the thing together. I haven't checked out a Yomega yo-yo in a very, very long time. Um, but yeah, so I'll put the specs on the screen. And I just think it's funny. I've had this yo-yo for so long, and the whole time I thought I were, I've reviewed it, but I, I never reviewed it. So um, yeah, let me string it up and let's play with it, because I I literally haven't played with this thing in years. Okay, guys. So in my hand, the yo-yo feels really nice. It's got these nice rounded off edges, uh, the nice matte finish. It is very aesthetically pleasing in my hand, as well as in my pocket. It's not too big. Once again, there's no sharp edges. So in your pocket. Feels really nice, so I'll give it to them. That was a good design choice there. The yo-yo definitely does not feel very stable. It feels like it'll tilt quite easily, and the weight feels like very, like it's all, there's, the weight distribution does not feel good. It feels like a rock at the end of the string. Um, but that being said, it actually spins decently long. Very easy to regen because this gap is like, to today's standards, this gap is actually really narrow. Like, um, this is one of those yo-yos, oh, come on, that sometimes it might be responsive and sometimes it might be unresponsive. Like, like see, right here, I'm pulling it up and it's not coming back. But you'll get that occasional where it'll just like snag on you because, come on. Well, if your string tension is a little tight, like here, for example. Let me tighten up my string tension there. Okay. Now, yeah, see, when I go to pull it, it'll just come right back up. So you have to really manage your string tension on a yo-yo like this. Um, these yo-yos are almost quite dangerous. When the, the I want my yo-yo to either be, like, totally unresponsive or responsive. I don't like this, like, in the middle crap because... Uh, that is when it will snag back on you when you don't want it to, and uh, bad things can happen there. So you want to really manage your string tension on a yo-yo like this. I believe this yo-yo was thirty dollars. Um, that's like what it is if you're paying like full retail price. But on Amazon, they're fifteen right now. So I'm gonna now that it's twenty nineteen, we're gonna give it the twenty nineteen price. Like, is it worth it for fifteen dollars? Uh, it's kind of hard to say because it does. I mean, it's got a lot of vibe, even for a fifteen dollar yo-yo. Like, listen to this. Yeah, quite, quite the vibey yo-yo. And that thin gap, ugh. The best thing about this yo-yo is that it's comfortable in your hand and it fits nice in your pocket. Other than that, it's, it's kind of hard to say a lot of good stuff about this. Let's, uh, it can thumb grind pretty good, although the thumb grind feels really bouncy and like you really feel the vibration on the thumb grind. I don't think you can finger spin on here. I don't even know why I'm gonna try, but we're gonna try. Here goes nothing. Not really. Can't really finger spin on there. Um, so I kind of expected that. 
there's not really, there's kind of like that spike in there, but the spike's not big enough to do matador, and then it's just not a big enough cup to fit your finger. So you can't thumb grind in there. One thing, this yo-yo though, is amazing for snap starts. The rounded edges, the size of it, it's like perfect for learning snap starts. But yeah, I don't like that semi-responsive response. Uh, that's the hardest thing about it. Uh, but some nice things about yo-yos like this, because they're a little smaller, it makes uh, tricks harder. So you practice with a yo-yo that's a little more narrow like this, uh, it's gonna make you more accurate on stuff like those Eli hops behind the arm. They're quite hard for me on a little yo-yo like this. Uh, whip tricks in general, you know, are gonna be harder. So, you know, also too, the fact that it's like that weird response where it wants to like snag most of the time. Um, so honestly, in 2019, I would not buy this thing. Even for $15, there's a lot of like $15 magic yo-yos and stuff that are a lot better than this. And yeah, I mean, if you want a cheap metal yo-yo, spend $30 and get a hot diggity or something like that. Um, yeah, I really don't think in 2019, uh, it's worth it. Um, I don't know what Yomega is gonna come out with in the future, if they're gonna come out with any more like high-end stuff. But to me, they've always kind of just been like that beginner's yo-yo. Um, you know, company, but oh, you know, hopefully they come out with something really cool down the road. Who knows? But, um, yeah, uh, sorry. I never reviewed this yo-yo back when it was actually relevant. For some reason, I thought I always reviewed it and I never did. So thank you guys for watching and, uh, yeah, don't buy it. It's not that good.